Four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling I'm like Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Smeekwell here, man. And today, we're going to be finding out what would happen if Paul George ended up going to the Boston Celtics. If you do go on to enjoy the video, smash that like button and subscribe for more daily 2K content. But we're going to jump right into this. So as you guys know, Paul George, he had some trade rumors. They're trying to trade him away, the Pacers. He was going to go to the Celtics. No trade ended up happening. Um, and he probably won't be traded to the Celtics. We'll see what goes down there, but we tried to make the best trade possible. So we got Paul George. Obviously, we got rid of Jay Crowder, and then we got rid of Amir Johnson and Kelly Olenek because those were the rumors of what was going to happen. So we got a solid starting lineup here, and we're going to see how the rest of the season play out, plays out. So we're back where the season is right now. It's February 1st right here. We're against the Raptors. This is the game tonight. We're going to see how it plays out if Paul George ended up going to the Celtics. So we're just going to simulate through the rest of the season right here. And we're going to see how it ends up playing out. So big loss to the Celtics first game with Paul George. Doesn't make anything good happen there. I meant loss to the Raptors there. So we're one in one with Paul George so far. Gets another W on the season there and let's actually find out how good he can actually do so we're obviously going to decline all trades we want to play it out with the players we have right now and no trades are going to go down we're just going to see what happens here so we're doing all right obviously not doing the best still beating the raptors actually the raptors just passed us in the playoff standings so not looking too good right now at all We've got a win to the Raptors, absolutely destroying them there, almost beating them by 20, or almost beating them by 30 points, sorry. 28 point win there against the Raptors, and we beat the Cavaliers, so the Celtics looking pretty decent right now, but they take a loss to the Phoenix Suns, and they lose to the Warriors, so they're not beating some of these top teams, but they are beating the Eastern Conference teams, so that's what kind of matters the most, see how they do in the playoffs over there. The fan interest and chemistry is slowly going up so once we get that chemistry up they should be destroying a lot of teams here we beat the miami heat we beat the bucks and we lose to the magic so second in the conference for the celtics let's see if they can beat the Cavs. they lose to the Cavs, but they do beat the hawks and now they're third in the conference not looking too good they get a win against the bucks and it's looking like we're gonna get the third seed here with the celtics so did they make any teams at all no we did not make any teams, I don't think, right? No teams for the Celtics here. Didn't make any of them, unfortunately. We're going to advance to the playoffs now. Third seed against the Chicago Bulls. Sixth seed. Let's see if we can take them out here. The Bulls go up 1-0. It's a 1-1 series. The Bulls go up 2-1. Boston gets another game. It's 3-2. Can they get the win here? It is 3-3. And Celtics end up beating out the bulls by one game that was super close let's see we're actually against the knicks the raptors choke against the knicks so we're gonna see how this plays out the knicks get a game on us 2-0 lead for the knicks 3-0 and it's a sweep the knicks sweep the celtics are you kidding me is that is this real life let's just sim the rest of the playoffs let's see what goes down it's the cavaliers and the cavaliers win the championship that played out super weird. There's no way that's happening in real life. Cleveland Clippers in finals. I do not think so. We're going to do another season here though. We're going to make sure um, that we keep our same players. And we're going to try to do this again. Alright guys. So we're in our second season here. And we actually picked up Taj Gibson for our team. So we got an upgrade on that power forward spot. So we should do a bit better this year. We got a pretty decent team going on here. We also got David West. So we have more of a bench in this offseason. We improved the team a bit, but we're going to see how it ends up playing out. Isaiah Thomas, Paul George, Al Horford, of course, our big three over here. Paul George almost to that 90 rating. Isaiah Thomas went down to a 90, but back up to a 91. But we're going to go... Uh, back here and actually play out the season and see how we end up doing so let's go simulate to the end i don't want really want to make any more trades i kind of want to keep this team but first game of the season we get a win two and oh so far starting off really good we get our first loss there unfortunately can we beat out the pacers and the jazz we get a loss to losing to the pistons but when we end up beating the pistons 
We're doing all right. We're not we're not doing anything good here. We actually got an even record. We got a losing record now. Celtics are not looking too good. We got a 92% chemistry. I don't know why the team is doing so bad. Kind of weird how it's playing out here. Very high scoring games every single game though. But here we go. We're going on a bit of a tear right now. We are on a 10 win streak right there. Beating the Grizzlies. Let's keep this thing going. Beating out the Bulls. And there we, we, we're just on a win streak and we lose to the, the Lakers actually. Beating out the Raptors. So that's a good win there. And let's continue this little streak. We're doing really good right now. First in the conference losing to the clippers there we're now dropping down to second i bet you the cavaliers are in first though um, we got to get on another little win streak here in order to get past them and see what we can do in the playoffs this is probably the only season i'm going to do i'm going to do like the second season let's see if they win here and if they they're not maybe paul george isn't the right trade for them um, maybe they need to do something else in order to win a ship 2k does screw up a lot they make weird teams win against other teams but we'll see how this ends up playing obviously we're going to decline that trade we're not making any trades we're just going to play it through here we lose to the two best teams in the league again another trade they're not going to take it beating the bucks and the rockets can we beat the mavericks losing to the mavericks and the spurs not looking too good for us 32 and 18 i mean not the worst record possible but we could be in first place obviously we're not getting some dubs here we got to beat the magic this time come on there we go being the magics beat the hornets are gonna beat the knicks this time lost to them in the playoffs let's see how it ends up turning out and we beat the knicks we're not gonna make any trades we're gonna keep with the team we got here let's keep on going washington wizards up next easy w and we lose to the 76ers i wonder who is actually on their team i'm gonna check out the 76ers real quick so they got nick stauskas what is his overall now? 74, Ilyasova, Sova, Joel Embiid is an 89, Ben Simmons an 82, and they actually got Paul Millsap, and then Jaleel Okafor not doing too bad either, but Joel Embiid doing really good there. So let's keep on going with the rest of the season, still second in the conference, beating out the Cavaliers there. Can we beat the Trailblazers? No, we beat the Warriors though, that's a good win, that's a good win. Let's get this over with see how we end up finishing i don't know if we'll be able to beat the cavaliers in the seating here hopefully we don't drop down below anybody though so i'm going to check the standings here actually let's go over to the standings playoff picture so they have six more wins than us it doesn't look like we're going to catch up and it doesn't look like we're going to fall behind the raptors who has eight less wins than us unless we go on a huge streak here which i don't think we will um there's kind of no way Maybe if we win every all the rest of the games, we lose to the Raptors there, beat the Bucks, lose to the Cavaliers. So it looks like we're going to get that second seed in the playoffs. Let's see what we can make out of the playoffs. LeBron James, MVP, Charles Lowry, Rookie of the Year, Cameron Payne, sixth man. And then LeBron got defensive player as well. And then Brandon Jellings, most improved. Terry Stotts gets the Coach of the Year. So let's move on, see if we got anybody on these teams here. Not looking like it. All rookie team right there. All rookie first team, Russ Boyd. We actually got a really good rookie right here. 81 overall. That might actually help us win. We're going to keep going along here, see if there's anybody. Nope. We got that first rookie all team, though. So we're against the 76ers. This actually might be a tough one. Or no, that's the Bucks. What am I saying? We're against the Pacers right now. Let's simulate this game. We go one up against the Pacers. We go two up against the Pacers. Can we go three? Nope. They get a game on us. It's 2-2. Two, two. We got to get a W here. And can we... There we go. We move on. We are now against the Bulls, who 4-1 the Raptors. The Rosen, Terrence Ross, Lowry's still on the team, but they didn't seem to do too good. 89 overall for Lowry, and DeRozan's a 91. Surprised they didn't too good, do too good there. Simulate the rest of this game. Cavaliers and Bucks move on. Let's see what we can do here. 1-0 against the Bulls. Can we get two? There we go. Let's continue this. Come on. We got to get at least to the Eastern Conference Finals. 3-2. Yes, we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. We're against the Cavaliers. Let's see what we can pull out here. Cavaliers go up 1-0. It's 1-1. It is 2-1 for the Celtics. It is 3-1. And the Celtics are in the finals. Here we go. We're going to simulate this and we're against the Rockets. We should get the win here. Let's see how this plays out. 1-0. It is 2-0. It is 2-1. Come on, we need another game. 3-1. And the Houston Rockets win the championship. James Harden with the MVP there. 
So the Celtics made it to the finals, very good progress there, but they're not able to beat out the Houston Rockets. In real life, honestly, they'd probably be able to destroy them, but didn't end up happening in the game here. A um, few players doing all right. Taj Gibson got up to an 80 overall, and Boyd, um, he did really good as well. 81 overall. So there we have it, though. Unfortunately, we could not win the championship with the Celtics. A lot of our players put up really good points. Our three starters who were nothing compared to the Rockets. James Harden, 34 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Amazing game out of him there. And let's just kind of check who they all have here. They don't have the best players, but they ended up beating us. James Harden, 96 overall now. Clint Capella, Sergio Rodriguez. So unfortunately, the Celtics couldn't win their 4-1 loss, but they did make it to the finals, in which they haven't gone for a bit with this kind of new team after they got rid of their uh, big three. They haven't gone this far. Uh, didn't make it to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Obviously, it was um, Raptors, Cleveland, but they made it to the finals. Um, but if you did enjoy that video, again, smash that like button and subscribe for more daily 2K17 content. This has been your boy Smeekle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey! Know your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up in the uh -huh, crock pot. Uh -huh. We came from nothing to something. Hey. I don't try nobody grip the trigger. Nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get gang. Grab me a river, give you a tissue. Bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up with a oozing. My nigga's the saddest roof.